All right, it's actually been almost a year since I first set up my home network here. Uh, did all the hardware, set up the software, uh, recorded the hardware bits about a year ago, didn't touch the software stuff at all uh, on the video at least until now. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I logged in and so things have changed. So let's just kind of walk through what I've done here together. We'll learn a little bit as the UI has been tweaked and uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, so this is the this is the Unify dashboard. This kind of shows what is what. Um, these are all my Unify um, devices. Since the hardware portion of the video, I did pick up a Unify doorbell camera, which is actually quite nice. Uh, but yeah, so this is the the Dream Machine Pro here. This is my twenty four power over Ethernet switch. You've got the kitchen access point and the bedroom access point. These are split so that they have full coverage of my whole house. And then as you can see, the doorbell and the um, camera that we use for our baby monitor is connected to the bedroom. Now we can go ahead and break out uh, these into the different pieces. So let's go ahead and just talk about the network here. Really fantastic user interface. Uh, I love this quite a bit. It gives you a lot of different information here. Um, it shows my uptime here of my internet service provider. That's a hundred percent. You got two millisecond uh, latency, which is fantastic. We could run a speed test. This runs the speed test at the uh, server itself, which is really awesome. Um, now this has a lot of different variables. So I, I paid for a gig up and down. You can see that the download speed is about half of that. That's also because I have, uh, I have a, a pretty decent firewall set up on uh, my, uh, my router here. And what that's doing is it's actually having to slow down the speed to be able to account for um, checking and scanning every single thing that's coming in. Uh, as you can see, my upload speed is almost at the max at about 930. Uh, we have 13 active clients, 18 total. You can see all these throughout the day coming and going. Uh, we've got the client device types that it breaks down, traffic. Um, you can see that we're doing a lot of Disney Plus here at the moment with my uh, kid watching lots of shows, which is quite fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the topology of how this works. Uh, this is, these are all the devices that are connected at the moment and you can see where they go. You can even upload a floor plan and that's really fantastic because you can point it to where all of your access points are uh, and it will show you what your coverage looks like based on your floor plan. Um, I haven't done that. I really want to um, be able to do that so that I can actually see if I did it well. Uh, but most everything seems to work pretty well based on how I have it laid out. Here are my unified devices here. Um, as you can see, the same thing as the, the first screen, just lays them out and shows their firmware dates, uh, statuses, excuse me, um, their up and download speeds, etc. These are all the client devices. Got some traffic statistics here. Um, this is just a, a better breakdown of that first screen that we saw. Um, so you can go through and see what apps are using the most uh, data on your network. You can see things that maybe you didn't expect to have in there. Um, we've got Wi-Fi insights here, so we can actually scan all of the different uh, bands that of, of Wi-Fi that are being used in the area uh, and then choose accordingly. And then we've got traffic inspector. So this is what I was mentioning earlier. Um, you can see that we've got a couple of threat severity concernings in here. And what it does is it actually goes ahead and blocks those IP addresses when something comes in. I run a couple of servers downstairs. And so I want to make sure that uh, my, my network is contained um, and that nothing leaks out that isn't supposed to and nothing gets in that's not supposed to. And then we can break down the settings. So I do have a few different Wi-Fi uh, networks here. I've got Pineapple, which is just our main network for internal use. So that's going to be like for my devices, my family's devices, etc. We have Pineapple Internet of Things. So that's going to be the cameras, that's going to be the uh, Nest thermostat, that's going to be the garage door opener, etc. And then we have an Internet of Things legacy, which only broadcasts a 2.4 gigahertz network. And that's for legacy devices that don't know how to deal with smart um, access points like the ones that I have here, where it broadcasts both a 2.4 and a 5 as a single, um, as a single name that you can uh, connect to. And then we have a guest network as well for those that are coming and going that I don't necessarily want to have access to my main network. Now, these are split up and they are isolated. So if somebody comes and connects to the guest network, they actually can't 
ping or do anything inside of my internal network, such as hitting my servers, any of those Internet of Things devices. We um, separate them out so that nothing can accidentally get into something that's not supposed to. Uh, these are those uh, networks as you can see here. I have the network size set very small, um, just to the smallest size that you could have, 256 um, IP addresses that can be given out on each of those. Um, don't necessarily have a reason to make it any bigger because there's not, uh, you know, hundreds of people in this house. There's certainly not hundreds of devices. There's there's a few dozen at any given point. Um, if we really wanted with that dream machine, we could actually have two internet service providers. And that's something that I'd love to do um, to be able to have a second one when the primary fails uh, and it will actually fail over automatically. However, there's not really a second internet service provider in my area at the moment. Um, and so we cannot, cannot do that. So maybe someday, there's so many things that you could tweak in here, which makes it really fantastic. Um, I have my, my setup backup weekly, and then I pull those backups off of the router and onto my server and back that up as well. So lots of amazing things that you could do here on the um, Unify system. It's been fantastic. Uh, we've had no problems really whatsoever uh, with setting it up. Um, it was all pretty straightforward. And once it gets going, it's kind of a set it and forget it. As I mentioned, I haven't logged in in a, in a long time because I had it set up the way I want. It works and it's just a, it's a fantastic system. So if you're in the network for networking gear um, and want to be able to not worry about your Wi-Fi ever again, first of all, make sure you're paying for decent Wi-Fi speeds and that you have a good internet service provider, preferably one that has um, fiber directly to your house, which is the case with ours. Uh, we don't have cable, we have fiber directly in, which is fantastic. And then get a really nice system like a uh, Unify system where you spread out your access points to cover your whole house. You have your router separate from those access points. Um, and then for items such as the Xbox, which is our media um, server of sorts, right? That's where we play all of our movies. That's where we play our games. Um, and all of those things, make sure that's plugged directly into your network. So anything like that, including my computer, my workstation that I use, is plugged directly in with Ethernet cables through my house. And um, same with cameras as well. So fantastic system. It's been lots of fun to set up and play with. Now I may do another movie in the future, which actually dives into all these settings and what they do. Um, but for now, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to me. See you next time.